Hello, I'm Colin. I'm the author of the Vassal mod for GMT's Fields of Fire Volumes 1 and 2 combined, uh, and this is video 4, um, which is the second turn of the mission. If you've seen uh, video 3, I set up a, a small scenario, um, not very realistic, very tiny map, but designed just to cause contacts, which it did. Um, and you'll have seen the, as the company advanced, they met two heavy machine guns and one light machine gun. Um, who opened fire on them. Um, and so this is turn two, uh, and we will see what happens. So looking at the turn sequence, it's the friendly higher HQ event check, uh, and there's nothing there, uh, no radio, so we just move straight on. So the next bit is the company headquarters pulling its commands. Great, uh, just pause one. So on the command display, I will add company headquarters with one command, uh, and it will immediately spend that then uh, become complete and activate first platoon headquarters, which is down here. So they then get four commands. So they go up to five. Okay, let's see what they can do. So what I really need to do is spot one of these enemies. Um, so I'm going to have to take a bit of a risk and move forward into this um, card here, this hedgerow that's taking fire. Um, so I think the first turn I will use the platoon headquarters to send uh, this gun forward. So, uh, because this is under a PDF or under a BOF, um, I can actually attempt to infiltrate, which is handy because then they'll be able to get there without being exposed. So I will draw two cards for infiltrate. No infiltrate sign, so they can go up and go under the cover, but they are exposed. And then the platoon headquarters will do the same. It'll try to infiltrate up. Oh, uh, this scenario going incredibly well, as you can tell. Um, so that's two points. Um, so the platoon commander will then order the section to try to spot uh, this gun team. If we look at the spotting, which is under MISC, um, spotting recipient is line, so none of those matter. The target is under cover, so that's minus one. It does have a plus three or more cover. It's in the village, so that's minus two, but it is firing a boff A, so that's uh, the other way. So that will be a minus one which means they'll only get one card draw to, to spot, which they don't do. Uh, so that's three commands out of uh, the five. Uh, team commander will then order this gun team to try to spot. Nope. And then it will try to spot himself. Yes. So thankfully, uh, so that's its last command. So we'll move uh, one platoon down here. Uh, but this not spotted card can now go. So take that away and then this section uh, will automatically open fire at it. So you can flip that and it's uh, going back the other way. There is a gun there, so that will be an AVE off. So I can click this and place uh, an automatic weapon off against that team. Uh, and also, so this team can't uh, reach it. It's an assault team only uh, point blank, but this section here uh, sorry, this fire team here will also spot them, so that will place a PDF uh, going that way as well. Let's rotate that. Uh, and then, of course, that will also mean that this section is under crossfire. So I can stick that there as well. Sorry, across slightly. Okay. So that was a bit better. So that's all their turns done. That is also uh, on the turn sequence because the command, uh, company headquarters doesn't have any more commands. First one doesn't, we then go down onto this initiative segment. Uh, so the platoon HQ impulse, uh, they will draw to see what they do on their own initiative. So two platoon uh, here, he draws three, three commands. Which was in there. Uh, what can he do? What does he want to do? Uh, I'll leave him for now just to keep the video running quickly. Uh, and then three platoon over here can also draw, and he gets three. Can't slay, so three platoon gets three. He's complete. Uh, three platoon gets three, and I will with him. Uh, I will just send a section forward. Uh, 
and I can show you the minefield. Uh, so that's one uh, command spent. And that's all they'll do this to just keep it moving. Uh, but that section moved into the minefield, so they have to draw three cards to see if they get an explosion. Yes, so they've triggered the minefield. Um, they get um, an explosion hit at minus four. Um, be minus six, which would be even worse than moving. That's not as moved as well. Uh, so they get a minus four, a hit, and they take a casualty. So again, you can click on here, hit results, casualty. There's two casualties wrapped up there. Uh, and this section, uh, they are they stay exposed. They're also pinned because they were just hit. Uh, I'll put them next to them. There's no cover involved here, so I'll just stack them there, just so that they have the uh, their underlying disable off as well. Put that back to minefield to remind us. Okay. Um, so on the command display, that's all of them. These two, the the company staff, they'll just get a point each. Um, again, I won't I won't bother doing anything with them just for the uh, purposes of speeding up. Uh, general initiative I'll do though. General initiative we get one one point and um, what will we do? Uh, so this uh, team commander could order this gun to try to um, concentrate fire. Which is unsuccessful. Okay, so uh, turn sequence and moves up to the enemy HQ event no HQ event, and then we get into the activities. I'm just going to pause while I have a quick drink. Okay, sorry about that. So um, we have moved on to the enemy activity check, seg check segment. So we check uh, the three enemy units to see what they do. Uh, they're determined randomly by card. Um, so I'll pick, I'll pick a random number three and see which one we do. So one, so it's this one here. So it's the LMG team first. Um, so, enemy activity hierarchies are all up here, uh, and this is a defensive mission, and it's deliberate defense. Uh, so we run down uh, to find out which of the first ones meet this. Uh, so he's not on the same card, he's not out of ammo, he is under fire, he is under fire, but he is under cover. He's under fire from a different direction to that of his own PDF. So he is now, because we've got this crossfire going on, uh, which has this, well, this section and this fire team now firing across. Um, so we will draw... Uh, four, so random four. It's number four. Um, so he shifts his PDF. So uh, I will flip this and make this a one-way PDF. Let's rotate that round, um, and then I'll actually flip this one. So so this gun team here, uh, he was firing this direction, but he's now because he's been shot up over here, he's decided to swing his fire over and fire over here. Okay. Um, so, see which one of the heavy machine guns goes next. It's number two, which is from out here. Uh, again, bring up the defensive hierarchy. He's not under fire, and he has opened fire, so he automatically attempts to concentrate fire. So we'll draw two cards and look for the target. So no, he doesn't um, concentrate fire. And then this one is going to be the same. Shuffle. So he doesn't manage to concentrate fire either. So that's the end of the activity checks. Back to the turn sequence. Uh, there's no capture retreat phase. Uh, so I'm just checking this paralyzed team, non-pinned, but he is pinned, so he's not going to go anywhere. Um, no vehicles, uh, no fire missions, no new potential contacts. So we go straight to the combat effect segment again. Um, and then again, these are done simultaneously, so we'll just roll through the cards. Let's see what happens. So uh, this one first, the gun team. Uh, so he is under automatic buff uh, minus one. That's minus one. Crossfire minus one, so that's minus two. He's in foxholes plus one, so that's minus one again. And he's also in the village, that's plus three, so that's plus two uh, by my maths. Um, so we will draw that. And he's pinned. So again, you can right click him and just mark him as pinned. <clears throat> that will change this buff uh, to all pinned. But I'll leave it there for now so I don't get confused. Uh, these two aren't being fired at. Uh, this one then, so he's 
not actually taken any fire, so he's all right. He's uh, he will. I'll flip that now to all pinned. Uh, no, I'll flip that to nothing because it's uh, not getting shot at at all. <clears throat> uh, and actually, on this card, when I think about it, he when he switched fire, he actually created a crossfire as well. So, okay, uh, next one is the assault team here. So we'll do him. He's getting fired up from across here. He has automatic weapons minus one. He's pinned, which takes it back to zero, and he's in the orchard, which takes him to plus one. I think that's it. Uh, so that's a pin. So he's already pinned, so he just stays pinned. And while I think about it, I will also use ammo on this gun. Uh, so take him down to six. Um, and then we do this card here. So the guns are firing. Uh, we will use ammo on these two. So, uh, so we've got three units uh, to have a look at. They are all going to be, in fact, pardon me, sorry, so we'll look at them separately. So this fire team is uh, minus one, minus two, plus two takes back to zero, and plus one pin takes him to plus one. And he is pinned, so he stays pinned. Uh, paralyzed is the same, so he's plus one. He is pinned, he stays pinned. And this guy uh, is, uh, he's actually at minus one because it's the same, minus one crossfire, minus one uh, auto, plus two for the uh, terrain takes him to zero, plus one pin takes him to plus one, but he is exposed, he just moved in. So he is minus one. And he becomes pinned, so he's pinned. So he gets away with it, essentially. Uh, and I also need to just reduce the ammunition on that one. Okay, so that's the end of the fire effects. Uh, do I actually card? Do I blah, 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 blah. I just boss. So I've done that one. I moved, I changed that boff back to, in fact, I removed that boff. Um, these are all pinned, but these aren't, so that stays. Uh, that looks good. That's all set. Um, so it's just a cleanup. So again, press the button. It is going to remove. It will remove the exposed, uh, any other temporary things. There's no grenades or anything on this. So. Uh, oh yeah, move these. Uh, and that's it. I think that's the end of turn two. So relatively um, good, actually, considering the situation they're in. Uh, hopefully that's explained a few more of the concepts, uh, and I hope it's useful. Thank you.